Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by George Templeman. She is the president of Network Access Partnerships at Sci-Fi Networks, and she is going to talk to us a little bit about how open access fiber networks are impacting the broadband market. So George, thank you for being here. Thanks, great to be here. And can you start by telling us a little bit about the basics? For those that don't know, what is an open access network and why do they exist? Sure. Well, essentially, an open access network is a shared infrastructure. Um, so a best in class network built to support multiple service providers, much like, you know, utilities. We don't have multiple roads and trains for different people who want to use them. Um, and broadband now is an essential utility. So. The reason we, that we have them today is to enable fiber infrastructure, providing the best superior speeds and connectivity in an increasingly digital world where everybody needs it, um, but with a choice of providers without each provider having to build their own expensive and disruptive fiber networks throughout the community. Absolutely. I love that description. It's a very easy and nice way to understand that. So thank you so much. Um, there are open access networks all over the country. So how would you assess them as a whole? And what's kind of the current state of the market for open access networks? So the market as a whole, um, so Sci-Fi Networks started out 10 years ago. Yeah. And the market then looked very, very different. And uh, open access, uh, the concept of it just wasn't welcomed. Um, you know, we do things the way that we do them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, a few years ago, things really got started for us. And just in the last sort of six to 12 months, there's been a massive emergence of more infrastructure developers uh, with open access networks. So it's a hugely evolving market. And, you know, We've already seen the success of that in many other markets like Europe, Asia, um, Australasia, some parts, and, and the, you know where it's going, it's becoming more and more prevalent. So the state of the market today is it's exciting. Good. <laughs> and it's always hard to bring a new concept out. So right. you've been around for a while now. It's yeah, yeah, yeah more accepted. Great, excellent. Um, let's look into the crystal ball a little bit, make a few predictions here. In your view, what does the future look like for open access markets? Well, Excuse it me, very networks. much does look like the future is open access yeah. networks yeah. Um, because it just makes sense. One best in class network supports multiple choices with not just choices of providers, but choices and access to different services. As we, we, you know, we see technology evolving all the time and we want access. We're consuming things more and more online. And I see that continuing to increase. So the more we need bandwidth, the more we need fiber connectivity and we don't want multiple fiber networks in our streets. It's, it's expensive, it's right. bad for the environment, um, but we still want the choice and we still want access to services. So the future just, you know, following that common sense really is open access networks. Expansion, yeah, just a lot more open access. A lot access. more of them. Yeah. yeah, okay, excellent, <laughs> great. Um, and now at Metro Connect, I understand you're gonna be co-hosting a round table in one of the community meetup sessions. What can you tell us about that session and what attendees can take away from that? Yeah, so that's um, a breakfast session, and I've just remembered it's in a beautiful location in okay. the ocean ballroom, <laughs> uh, looking out to the sea, so that will be nice. Okay. But the, the subject is enterprise fiber and how open access plays into that. Um, and perhaps a little preview is um, where the mindset is, I guess, from Sci-Fi Network's point of view, is the, the technology is evolving uh, with open access networks, and the speeds and uh, the quality of service that can now be delivered with evolving technology. And it kind of mitigates, uh, very much reduces the need for enterprise, what we're calling enterprise class fiber networks and makes them far, far much more accessible. So yeah, very much looking forward to that session in the morning. Good, and a beautiful view. So if nothing else, that's right. why people should I hope come don't get distracted too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breakfast, the view, and great uh, content. So make sure to check that out in the morning. Um, and George, where can people go to learn more about sci-fi networks? Well, sci-fi networks.com. <laughs> That's what I thought you might say. Okay, excellent. Well, we hope you check that out. And George, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And to our viewers, uh, happy networking. And this is us uh, for Metro Connect 2024. Thanks for tuning in.